so you remember this tool. We're back. All right, let's get my lighting again so I can actually see something. Maybe you can see something. All right, so now we got to put these back on, and we're going to put the clamps back on so we can put them back in the movement. So now we got to get them lined up here to the right direction. Now it's a lot easier to put these things together than it was to take them apart. Oh, I could have spoken too soon, maybe, perhaps. Just got it. There we go. Okay. And then it should grab all by itself once you start actually winding it back up. So now we're just going to slip that in through there. Put the the back part, the loop end of the main spring, in there again. Tighten that down. I have to flip this around the other way. Nope, I was right the first time. Okay, it grabbed. That's that's good news. Now, part of this is also going to include lubricating the spring. So now, here's that slick 50. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to douse this down in all kinds of different places here. And it's you can go ahead and use a little bit more than you would than you'd think you'd need because it's all going to squeeze out. Okay, see that? I'm totally cool with that. And just be careful when doing this because the spring could break. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have another rag somewhere. I thought I did. Well, I hate to use this one, but because it's a clean one. But just in case, I like to hold on to it. Now, some people will probably call me crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good tighten. Okay, that's good. Like I say, anything that comes out is good. There's nothing wrong with that. Take a screwdriver here, go around the back side, like that down. And there's always going to be some on the front that's going to be hard to get it, but that's what I do. I just kind of stick it in there and work it around. It does a good job. Okay. Now we're going to put the clamp on. We're going to let it down. Okay. Get it centered up on there. Right. Flip this back around. And slowly back that up. Readjust this just a little bit here. Good. Okay. This one's ready. Pop that off of there. Kind of give it a little dabby here and there. Get some of that bleeding out oil out. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, the springs are definitely worn, but as I said before, it worked, so I figure, why not? We'll use the original springs. All right, now I need the other side. Now this one winds the opposite direction. So it goes this way. You know, okay. Bring 
this down, put it in here, and then right over we go. Attempt to get stuff out of the way. Move that over a tad, and then we're gonna start winding this one. Sometimes it'll do that and just try to keep it from twisting. Sorry for the interruption there, my camera ran out of space, so I have to start over from where I was here. But uh, if I recall correctly from going back through the videos here, I was wiping off the some of the excess oil here. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this clamp on here, just like the other one. And if I repeat something from before, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm going to open that back up. In this case, oil is my friend. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through here, wipe some of this off of the front part of the spring. It's time to actually get back to what I was going to do before, and it's reassemble the movement time!